How to sell websites to local businesses. Quick and easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can sell websites to your local businesses. So let's get into it. Now, if you are a web developer on your own or just a team of people that are looking to sell websites and you think you're good to sell websites, you've created a couple of those and you know how to get started, then you're looking for a client, you're looking for a customer. Customer, and you would prefer if they are in your local area because you can customize the website maybe you know the SEO a little better you know how to redirect the uh, local audience to that website a little better especially if they are in your local area so how can you find local businesses and sell them websites well first off just head on over to Google Maps, open up Google Maps like I have over here and select your area. So wherever you might want to sell your websites in, let's say I want to sell them within this location of Calgary. So you can see I have a bunch of different businesses that are showing up when I open up Calgary. Now, whenever I zoom into these businesses, you can see I get all of these restaurants. I have so many different restaurants and other businesses. You can search for a specific type of business as well. So you can search for salons, you can search for electricians you can search for like food vendors you can search for dry cleaners all those businesses that often don't have that great of a website experience that you can contact them so i can see this salon over here it's called barber culture and it is a barber shop in calgary and i can scroll down and take a look if they have a, a website so i can open this up over here i think they do have a website now there are two options that you can go with first off if you take a Look at their website and you find that they have a bunch of different errors so they have a non-functioning website or they have some issues in their website and they might have broken links on their website in that situation you can also still send them a you know opportunity to purchase a website for you you can go on ahead and analyze the website that they presently do have so just analyze the website that they have and be like hey i found a couple i really love your work I would make sure to always start off my email whenever I'm sending out an email. So you're going to go and compose and you can usually find a manager's email or just a business email on these websites or on their Google listing. And you're simply going to be like, hey, I saw your website. I love your work. I love your barbershop. I love your shop. And I have seen that your website is not optimized for SEO or maybe it's not optimized for local SEO. And you might have a couple of broken links. You can mention the broken links and be like, I've noticed those issues and I thought I might bring them to light to you. And I also am a web developer for hire. I can create a website for you. I can update your website for you, or I can customize or improve the SEO of your website. So if you find a website like this, where they have a basic little website, you can add a bunch of different additional features. You can add, uh, you know, any other broken links and how you're going to fix them, so on and so forth. Now, let's say we're going to keep on browsing. Now, if you can't find a specific business in your area that does not have a location it's not that hard so just zoom out a little and go into a different location zoom in and just take a look at some of the smaller uh, businesses that might not have a website yet that are not that high rated so i'm going to scroll down and take a look so this salon actually does not have a website it's called uh, basia hair salon and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy their name and then i'm going to paste it on google and this will just allow you to do a double check so I can see that they don't have a actual website. And this is going to be a great business to contact to, uh, you know, create a website. Now, you have two options. Either you can go on ahead and contact them on their phone number or you can receive a email. So you can try to find a email address linked to their specific platform or linked to their specific shop and contact them. So you can see that they have only been mentioned on a blog over here. They don't have their own website. So so you can surely go on ahead and click on ask a question and ask for a email address or you can simply click on the number over here and contact them directly now a couple of things you want to keep in mind if you're composing an email or if you're doing questioning directly make sure you don't open off with the fact that you are trying to sell them a website just be like hey i have seen your hair salon and i think it's a great place you always want to start off with them and appreciating their work or you know mentioning them noticing them and how they are performing and then you can 
add on things that they can improve upon such as be like hey i love your salon and i think it would be a lot more beneficial for your salon if you have a online presence and then you can give a few referrals of your website so you can be like hey i am a web designer and i would love to work with you to create a website for you and here are some samples of my work so you can add a couple of links of the websites that you have previously created and be like hey this is the kind of website that i can create for you i can add some booking features so you can get booked online i can add your scheduling i can add a couple of different things and this will allow you to negotiate with the local business instead of just being like hey i can create a website for a hundred dollars you can be like hey maybe you want these these features i could add these features to your website or create a website for you a base website would cost this much and for these additional features i can charge this much and this will allow you to get a more negotiable and profitable deal for you plus you can customize the website according to the business's needs and you can see over here we have their facebook page and on the facebook page you can see a email address so it's pretty easy to usually get a email address and i do recommend starting your correspondence off on email if you don't get a reply after your second email send a first email then send a reminder email and if you don't get a reply to either of your emails then you can contact them on their phone number usually it is recommended that you wait for a couple of days to get a email reply because you don't want to just be like you know pushy and you don't want to uh, excessively spam them with your own uh, you know cold calling or with spam them with offers to purchase a website for you and this is super easy and effective Using this strategy, you can easily develop a website and find a bunch of different businesses. I found this salon. Now, if I want to enter a different niche, so well, let's say I want to create or find a different kind of business. I'm just going to go on over here. Just taking a look at all of the different places. So we have Z Crew Cafe. So this looks like they already have a website. Uh, then I won't, you know, necessarily contact, you know, businesses that already have a good running website. You don't want to just contact them. So we have Upwardly, which is a recruiter, and I can scroll down. And then they also have a website, so I'm not going to contact them either. We have Tony's Auto Service. Now you can see that I'm going to scroll down to see now they also have a website so it's very essential that you're not contacting uh, businesses that already have you know amazing websites they will just find you to be annoying and they will blacklist you and instead of just being able to offer updates to their website or additional features you are just going to be blacklisted from those kinds of businesses so we're just going to go on ahead and keep on looking and it takes a little time to find the different businesses that don't have their own websites but it's really not that difficult because it takes you know a little bit of research work just go on ahead and uh you know make sure to search a little and browse on the map take a look at different types of businesses you can clear your search over here and search for a different types of businesses to get highlighted businesses for that specific niche so you can see we have Camino home this is a software company so on and so forth you can find a bunch of businesses and if you're not able to find a business that does not have a website don't worry just look for look for businesses that have you know outdated websites that have broken websites and contact them instead so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video